ska bli en gång till okay. i veckan. Så kan vi ta igen så blir det bra. Okej. Okay. Good morning everyone. Uh, I'm Anubha from uh, Delhi and uh, this paper was written for uh, IPCC AR6 cross chapter mountains and uh, it was written under a training uh, for which uh, six candidates from uh, developing world were selected so dr veruska who is here was one of the mentors and uh, i got the opportunity to get trained from them and write this uh, systematic review as a part of this training so uh, why are mountains important they cover 25% of the land mass and 15% of the population lives live there because of their complex terrain and erratic uh, climatic patterns we have limited understanding of the uh, processes which take in mountainous regions and because of all this uh, the adapt adaptive capacities uh, of the people living there uh, are limited and uh, because of this reason uh making adaptive strategies for uh, these regions is difficult so it's a challenge that you know because of the limited understanding of the region uh, their remoteness uh, and under we we have to figure out that which, which adaptations will work well and under what conditions so here we carry, uh, carried out a systematic review where i included uh, ultimately 84 papers and i saw that uh, Uh, most of the papers were written by uh, authors from Europe, Asia and U US and the the studies were mainly focused on Asia and South America and Europe and it was seen that all the regions of the world they are facing uh, uh, similar water related issues like uh, 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 there is unpredictability of precipitation there are there is uh, there are floods there are hazards and uh, Uh, cryospheric changes like uh, there is glacier area change there is in there is increase in glacier lakes and uh, there is there are changes in the snowfall patterns and the various activities the sectors are getting affected like the domestic uses agriculture tourism and it was seen that because of all this the government and local communities both are uh, involved in uh, trying to implement adaptations to cope up with these problems and the main limitation for every region was their uh, were their social conditions that how well they are ready to accept any adaptation and we saw that adaptations are being uh, implemented in various sectors like uh, infrastructure energy water storage tourism and uh, these strategies were uh, related to like rationing economic diversification mobility and we saw that uh, adaptations had various kind of effects on the uh, regions they were not only positive they were also negative and they were changing the social uh, structure the sort of social conditions of the region and there were ecological impacts positive negative both for example uh, in europe to maintain the skiing grounds artificial snow is being uh, spread so when you are making artificial snow uh, it is putting pressure on the water resources so we saw that the adaptations they are structural and non structural in uh, their uh, nature and like uh, artificial snow making improving water infrastructure covering uh, snow with uh, insulated material then uh, agricultural modifications data collection they were uh, structural uh, adaptations and capacity building uh, uh, water pricing laws they were uh, non structural adaptation and it was seen that uh, obviously asia is very big so 15 popular adaptations uh, were observed in asia 13 in south america so i saw that in asia artificial glaciers emerged as one of the uh, most popular adaptation in south america the glacier protection laws was one of the most important one in africa it was more about agriculture like crop diversification economic diversification in europe it was more about maintaining tourism and in north america they want to invest more in the uh, funding in mountain adaptation programs and in australia and new zealand uh they were more about economic diversification diversification motivating non snow tourism so here uh, we see that uh, in all these regions we have different adaptations and they can be categorized into three major groups like policy and management infrastructure and capacity building and the main sources of uncertainty involved when you are formulating adaptation strategies is 
like uh, the climate data which is used uh, to uh, do impact modeling uh, or uh, projection then uh, there are there are uh, uncertainties that uh, okay what is the snow variability what are the what are really the impacts of the floods and because of the erratic behavior of the climate it is difficult to use the local knowledge of the inhabitants and it is difficult to take any strong decision so and the, obviously there is also scientific uncertainty which is associated with uh, climate change so the main conclusions were that okay mountains are definitely facing water stress and number of uh, adaptations are being implemented all around the world and uh, in the developing world it's more about uh, survival like they are trying to implement uh, adaptations in agriculture sector and there is economic diversification in europe and australia it's more about uh, maintaining the tourism sector again it is sort of uh, you know uh, maintaining the uh, the livelihoods and in africa it is more about the agriculture and the main limits to adaptation is that how well the people are ready to uh, accept it there is misuse of the funds sometimes there is lack of interest in the government and there are lack of resources and there is lack of investment in the mountain programs and uh, ultimately uh, the main popular adaptations which were observed were related to water storage infrastructure better agriculture and uh, irrigation practices economic diversification and improved water government governance and laws thank you thank you